Hey y'all, welcome back to my house to home series. Finally, finally, in today's video, I'm gonna be able to share with you all our home theater, my husband's man cave. I'm gonna show you all finally what it looks like. I do have a few more furniture pieces that's coming in for our home theater, but I'll show you all that in a later vlog. I just wanna show you what it looked like now because I'm really pumped, I'm excited. So me and my husband has been movie fanatics since high school. Like that's our jazz, that's our thing. And you know now with the pandemic, we ain't going to buy movie theater. Even if it was open, we just don't feel safe. So to have our little theater set up where we can go down and just, you know, have our little date night in the house, I'm just excited about that. I also have a few other house updates that I want to share with you all. So I'll insert those now. come out let me just show you how cute my flower bed is so he added um, some perennials and some sunflowers all the way down the side of the house I'm gonna change out this bricks this was already here when we first moved it I want to change this out but this is so 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 cute he removed the stump that was up here and put a perennial in the front of the house we grabbed some of these solar lights they look like this and we are oh it's a battery in it okay if I add it in here the light will come on so I have these two and I think I'm gonna put one right here here, like this. You gotta make sure it's straight. Oh, so cool. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're fine. No, 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 no. Like that? Yeah, yeah I think this one gotta go down. down some more. Here is a better view of what it looks like now that we added the lights so it looks a lot better. Oh, now that I mentioned the lights, I changed all the outdoor light fixtures. Well, I didn't. My husband did. He changed all of the light fixtures to black. So I wanted to show you all what it looks like once it turned dark. I love how the light spreads out across the march like that. It is so cute. Eventually. My beautiful flower bed did not last that long because it's been extremely hot out here. But look at my flowers. They are all dead. But at least I think they are i'm just going to replace it with ones that i know is easier to maintain i don't want to come out and it's looking like this so guess what y'all al dining room set is finally here i know you're so tired of hearing me talk about it but it took forever for us to get it and we got it so we about to put it up Y'all, this table is huge. Like, here it is, right here. You can remove this leaf, but I wanted to see, you know, how it look with the whole thing put together. We're gonna see once we put the chairs up whether or not we'll have enough space. We may have to remove the leaf from the middle of the table. I always wanted a farmhouse table. I may have to order some more chairs because I only ordered six at this point. Hey y'all, so I know it's been quite a while actually since you all seen that last clip, but let me show you what the dining room looked like because he finished putting it up and everything. Let me cut the light on so you all can see. So here is what the dining room set looks like. I absolutely love it. What? Well, minus Milo. I don't even know why. He just sitting there. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is what the dining room set looks like. And it's like a gray brown colored textured wood. All six chairs we was able to fit here in this space. I thought it was going to be pretty tight since the sofa is right there. But it's not. You got a decent amount of space to scoop back. But all of the chairs are posted and they have these little beads going down the side. Now I don't know what on God's Spring Earth possessed me to get six upholstered chairs, but the table set did not come with, you know, like the different chairs, like just upholstered on a back. It didn't come like that. So if you know a good cleaning solution or something that I could use for upholstered furniture, let me know in the comment section below because I do have younger nieces and nephews as well as my kids. It's super clumsy. Please help us this out. I also purchased this rug from online. Again, everything that I mentioned, I'll try to link it down in the description box, but I'll put a picture here so you all can see what it looks like you all have seen in my vlogs several vlogs I had this wall mirror right here just leaning up against the wall that's because I was waiting for my father to come over and hang it out for me I wanted to make sure it was nice and secure it's my wall mirror up and it looks so bomb over there I love it so it looks really really good y'all know I've been struggling with trying to find good wall art and I knew that I was gonna have an issue trying to find something to cover at least the length of the table but I got inspiration from off of Pinterest to do like this wall gallery art type of situation going on right here I just love it like 
I almost shed a tear because these is just some really special moments with our family that we shared. So we got a lot of memorable pictures up here with us and our family. And I just love the way it looked. We was gonna put it over here, but I like it over top of the dining room table. And my final house update for this level is, um, I did change these two pictures here that's in the living room area. I purchased both of these from Kirkland's and I really like them because I think they tie in well with the fireplace. I don't know what this is. We was about to go out on the patio. And look at this. I, think. I don't know, but he or she was not invited. Want me to record it from the house? No, that's no, I ain't going out there. I'm get, that's disgusting. Out. I'm gonna get it. Watch out. <laughs> Welcome to today's vlog or house update. I'm sorry, I'm like extremely hot. We had to cut the heat up to about 80 degrees because they came in to lay down the carpet. But this is what the carpet looks like. We finally got carpet in the basement. I'm so excited. So you'll see some straggly pieces still around because we can't vacuum right away. We gotta wait at least 24 hours before we vacuum. Here's my sunroom. Well, not this sun, my other sun. <laughs> the carpet just looks so good. It's so soft. I'm so excited. My husband already went to the garage and brought all these chairs around to put down here in the basement. Okay, so I'm driving like up on the steering wheel. Hold on, let me cut this air down a little bit. Because somebody wanted to grab these recliners. <laughs> and y'all should see how close I am to the steering wheel. Can you see? Me. Like this is how close I am to the steering wheel. Uh, I just pray that we don't get in no accident because my face is like right here. My whole body gonna be crushed if the um look at my legs. Sure, I, I feel like I'm in a desert. Hold up, look at him. <laughs> you can't see behind me though. All right, so wish us luck. Let me put this phone down while I'm driving so I can focus. Milo, is you happy? Is you happy? Milo, come here, Milo. Come here, Milo. Hold up. Coming up on him. Come on. <laughs> All right, so I just got finished marking off the areas where we wanna hang up some of our media pictures. And I just used this little laser light right here to make a straight line across, and then I measured each frame. This is one frame right here. I just put a little sticky so we can kind of visualize how it looked. But um, this is one frame right here. Then this is the space between this frame and then the next frame, and so on and so forth, all the way down the wall so we can kind of visualize how we wanna put the pictures up. So our basement is finally finished. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll see this matinee sign. We actually had this sign back in our other house, but um, it just cuts on like this. And that is how it looks, really cute. I like it, it lights up this area. We do have some more um, wall art that's coming that we're gonna put right here, not too much. And we do have a light fixture as well that's coming. So, let's keep on going. So as you go down the step, it's super dark. Give me a few seconds, I'm almost there. And it's daytime, but it's dark down here. Hold it right here. All right, there we go. So we do have a demo, and this demo controls the main room. Let me cut the lights on. All right, so I just cut the lights up, but as some of you all may know, we did get the bathroom done down here as well. I'll insert a clip so you all can see what it looked like before. So we just had the floor dug up, and um, we decided to move the vanity that was over there on this side, which that's what we wanted originally anyway. And he's gonna put the shower on the entire back wall back there but yeah so this is just the beginning process if you haven't seen my previous vlog but it was nothing here it was just a rough end and we had to plumb up put some pipes in the whole nine just the whole nine if you want to see it i'll have that house to home update vlog linked in the description box below so check it out but let me show you what the bathroom looks like so here is the bathroom i tried to keep it pretty manly looking you know for my husband and my son that's down here but we're not completely finished and cut the other light on so you all can see but it's two lights it's one over top of the shower we did go with a six foot shower in here 
and then we have the main light which has the fixture to it and i might have to change this because i think this color light is different from them too yeah it is but anyway so yeah this is what it looks like we went with a gray black and white theme in here i still have to get a towel bar to put right here maybe a picture or something now i don't want to make it too girly but a picture of something right here a tissue holder a trash can a rug a cover for the toilet and then I think I'm oh and a hand towel rack I have to get right here but I really like how it turned out I just put some a black soap dispenser bottle that I got from home goods as well as a soap holder here for his bar soap and then I also brought one to go inside the shower as well but that's what the bathroom looks like I love it I think he did a really good job and this is our theater slash media slash my husband's man cave area so here is a view of what our home theater looks like it looks so so good it looks i mean y'all just don't know it's been a struggle to get this basement done and just have it all together but i just love the way that it turned out it looks really nice so all of these chairs are actually single chairs we just put them together when we first brought them in here we had three rows of two chairs but it was too much because all of the chairs were climbed back we decided to just make it two rows of three that way it's enough space and it's more comfortable for everybody i have a few more theater pictures that i need to put up on the wall but this picture right here we actually had in the previous house too and it lights up like that so we kept this one i thought it looked really nice down here and we got these curtains right here from off of i think it was amazon but they're pretty thin so we probably end up switching these out we do have a thicker pair upstairs that we had in our previous house but you know how it is if you don't get it from marshall's all at one time you liable not to find it or see it again you can see through that and i wanted a little darker a little a little bit more heavier curtains than this and here is a view of what it looks like from the back it's really spacious you know that's my office right there and this is my oldest son room i'm not gonna record because god knows what it looked like in there i haven't even looked that way <laughs> but yeah so i really like how it turned out oh let me show you all real quick because i know somebody going to ask me about the sparkle lights so let me show you um how that work so you'll be surprised i found this on amazon y'all know i'm an amazon junkie i'll have it linked in my amazon store below but you just plug it in and put it up like that and now let me dim the light so you all can see. oh well you can see it i didn't know you could see it on the daytime and it looks really good in here just like that now can you imagine if it's nighttime and we got them lit up it's so beautiful give you that like faux bentley rooftop look but i love how it looks it lights up the entire ceiling let me turn the light on real quick like i mentioned we do have a few more furniture pieces that's coming not too much we don't want to over clud this area you know this is our chill spot we was gonna put a wet ball here i don't want no more renovations though <laughs> No more renovations right now. No more in 2020. I can't take no more. Oh, but let me show you the theater pictures. You alright, baby? Yeah. Sorry for the glare from the lights, but you know I had to get my boo-boo, Tony. I miss him so much. My kids picked out Transformers. Of course, that was my husband. We all love Batman. Everybody love Batman. Then Jurassic Park. Got Scarface back there. Let me see my sunroom real quick. Oh, no. Nah, I can't show y'all that. <laughs> So yeah, I just really love the way that it turned out. I'm so happy that it's finally done. We got our little theater area and my office is done and we're pretty much done with everything. I'm not doing any more renovations this year, probably until the end of next year. We do want to get the kitchen redone, but that's something later on. I'm not rushing it. Later on in life, but yeah, so let me know what you all think about our home theater. Just love it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.